All right, Guitar Tricks versus Rocksmith. We are going to do a direct comparison of the two. It's an imperfect comparison, but we are going to do the best with it that we can. So to get started, we should point out up front that Guitar Tricks is a partner of ours. We do uh, link to them and recommend them for a lot of different situations. They're pretty good with beginner content, with the intermediate stuff. We just, they're, they're one of the best, one of the longest running programs, but we still give an objective review. We have that review link in the description. We also have the free trial down there for uh, Guitar Tricks, and we have a link to Rocksmith as well, uh, I believe. Uh, we haven't reviewed Rocksmith, uh, but we've written a lot of these comparison articles, uh, and we've used it enough, talked to people enough that have used it, uh, that we have a pretty good feel for what it's like, and kind of the, the type of program that it is. Uh, but like I said, you can help out the channel by checking out Guitar Tricks. If you're interested, you can use those links. Don't cost you anything extra, but we just want to be transparent about that. Uh, and then we'll get on with the comparison. So side by side, we use these tables, uh, and I'm just going to kind of talk through this article that I've already written. You can see this is a whole, and you, I'll link to this as well. If you want to go read the article, that's fine. Uh, but I, I'm, we're finding that a lot of people it's just a little bit easier to listen, just to hear somebody talk through it and kind of make sense of all the data. So in, the, in this first table, we just kind of look at basic uh, kind of FAQ type differences. Uh, memberships or copies sold in the case of Rocksmith, because uh, obviously Rocksmith is a video game and Guitar Tricks is an online kind of video uh, resource, pre-recorded, lessons, more of a traditional format. Uh, Guitar Tricks is, operates more like musician where it listens to you playing and then it kind of grades you and kind of figures out where you're missing notes. Uh, and it was made to be like a kind of a guitar hero type thing, but you actually use a real guitar, which is a cool idea. Um, and a lot of people use it. A lot of people really like it. It's been around since 2014. And we don't really know how many copies they've sold. Uh, Ubisoft, I think, is the company that puts, it, uh, put, puts that game out, and they haven't made that number available. And it probably doesn't really matter. Uh, but Guitar Tricks uh, runs about 3 million members, and that's just kind of their running uh, tally, which, is go which has gone up pretty consistently over the years. They get people in and out, of course, uh, as members, but their membership has been steadily growing. They started way back in 1998, so they were one of, they were one of the first uh, companies to do this type of thing, the online guitar lesson uh, kind of system, and they were a, a big part of getting that started. Free trial period obviously favors Guitar Tricks. They uh, have a 14-day free trial period. Uh, Rocksmith doesn't really provide that because, again, it's a video game. You have to buy the video game, see what's in it, uh, which isn't great, but that's just kind of how it is. Uh, total number of lessons. Uh, so Rocksmith focuses on songs. So when I say lessons, um, we're looking at educational lessons. So Rocksmith has some of those. I think it's only about 85. And then, of course, Guitar Tricks has over 10,000. They're at 11,000, I think, total. Um, but, but that's a little bit of an unfair comparison because, like I said, Rocksmith is all about songs. Uh, Guitar Tricks does a lot of that too, but we'll get into that later. That actually has its own table. So styles covered. Uh, Rocksmith is a bunch of different stuff because of all the music, uh, all the different artists, and uh, all the kind of the cover songs they help you do. Uh, and Guitar Tricks focuses on roughly 12 total, like explicitly uh, 12 total styles that you can kind of get involved with. Um, so I, I gave them a green check mark there. It's not really necessarily an advantage. It doesn't mean they're better than Rocksmith necessarily. It's just it's just kind of a different angle when you're you know when you're in a Rocksmith situation. You're, you're only doing songs. You're not really going to focus on different styles of music. So instructors, uh, Guitar Tricks runs about 20 different instructors, um, and and there are several of them that show up a lot, uh, kind of a regular contributors. And Rocksmith obviously does not have that. So price, um, Guitar Tricks hundred and they are, this has actually changed, so i got to go in and change this price. Uh, they're actually $180 per year, um, and uh, $20 a month if you don't use any kind of discount or promotion, which they run, you know, here and there. And Rocksmith, obviously, used copies will vary, but roughly $40 uh, for a new copy. And I think that comes with the, the cable. So if you get a used copy, you're going to want to make sure you have that. Uh, adapter cable which you plug your guitar in so the so the game so the Xbox can actually hear uh, what your guitar is playing so that is the first table and then in this section we kind of get into like how good is it at teaching different skill levels right so I just titled the skill level depth and challenge so like how um, acceptably challenging is it to different skill levels so for beginner stuff like guitar tricks is really solid they're the ones we recommend for beginners 
pretty much exclusively there are other programs that do really well and of course most programs have beginner material but guitar tricks does a particularly good what good job with it uh rocksmith does okay because of the songs uh it's really fun i think for beginners to get into songs but they don't really have a lot in the way of lesson material and that just kind of gets worse as you go down so uh, intermediate lessons uh, guitar trick still does a lot better advanced lessons they fall off a little bit but rocksmith doesn't really have anything for the advanced player unless again you're just going back to cover songs and then topical order is just kind of how effectively do you order stuff based on skill level guitar tricks does an excellent job with that rocksmith um, doesn't really do that at all so again i get that it's an imperfect comparison because this is a video game and uh, guitar tricks isn't doing the video game thing uh, but you still have to kind of say okay well how well does it address skill levels uh, at these different points so it, guitar tricks this is a better job and that just sort of is what it is so let's keep going down structure and user experience so this is kind of like the interface like how good is the interface and how easy is it to use uh, guitar tricks did an update a few maybe one or two years ago and they kind of upgraded their interface which definitely kind of needed it and it made all of this a lot better like the course navigation like finding a way from course to course and then interior course navigation like how easy it was to get from lesson to lesson and video to video within that course those are both really solid um, pretty much everything is um, you know okay here and and rocksmith does a pretty good job of this too uh, you might notice some some of like where they really fall off is with uh, course navigation like uh, be, because they just don't have courses right so you're not gonna you're not gonna have as easy a time knowing where to go like in the menu um, unless you unless you're content with just sort of exploring songs and exploring uh, different options for covering songs um, they don't they don't really have a navigation system set up uh, so it's kind of a battle that they're it's kind of a fight that they didn't pick you know, like they're not they're not trying to do this, um, but still, I think I think it was harder to figure out where to go in Rocksmith, uh, and just a little bit trickier to kind of know like what what am I supposed to do? Like if you're if you're a complete beginner, it's gonna be a little bit hard to find your way around. Everything else is okay. Dashboard, main menu, navigation, stuff like that. Modern aesthetic, uh, Rocksmith is really good in. It just looks great. Like it looks like a really crisp kind of. You know, like the video game factor, I think is just really working for them in that regard. So it's nice to kind of look at, um, and it feels very up to date and modern, even for a game that's now, you know, it's 2020, getting to be six or seven years old. It just looks really good. So gave him a good mark there. And the next one, video player and game interface quality. So what I usually do with this section is I'm comparing the video player for two programs like the the part where you actually click on and watch the video because that is such a central element of using these programs you're just kind of looking at it all the time right so if you use guitar tricks for you know a whole course you're you're, pas you're basically just watching that video player and and this is again an imperfect comparison because rocksmith has the video game interface and not the video player um, but we kind of look at aesthetics uh, can you view it in hd um, things like looping and just how good does it look at full screen what kind of back end does it use and this is kind of you know this is kind of a wash I mean they both have HD options because um, I think Rocksmith was put out for I don't know it must have been Xbox 360 and you can play it on Xbox one I think um, you can loop sections uh, for both of these um, the back end server I don't know how Rocksmith puts their songs up. I know uh, Guitar Tricks uses a Wistia uh, player for their videos and that doesn't really matter. Um, it, it just kind of is what it is because we don't really know how Rocksmith does theirs. Uh, on full screen uh, quality and pixelation, uh, Rocksmith actually looks a little bit better. Like I said, their interface is really good and they're, when you're looking at the, like I said, it looks kind of like Guitar Hero and every everything about that is, is pretty good and pretty sleek. Uh, the the quality for guitar tricks videos kind of depends on whether they're older or newer videos like the newer ones are done in uh, 4k or even 1080p looks pretty good but if you get down to some of like the, the much older courses that they've filmed because they've been doing this for a long time um, the resolution will go a lot lower and it doesn't look quite as good at full screen but like I said a wash for that both programs are pretty good so in the song lesson section this is this is a huge part of this comparison of comparing these two programs because Guitar Tricks is uh, pretty well well liked in terms of the song lessons they offer so they do license their music just kind of like Rocksmith has and the problem with Rocksmith is that they do have a second partial paywall so what I think they do is when you buy the game you get 50 songs that come with it but then there's 
they, if you want more, I think it's two ninety nine per song. I'm not totally sure about that, but I think about three bucks. And you can buy songs from either the PlayStation Store or Xbox Live or whatever platform you have it for. I think you can also buy them off Steam if you have it on PC. So Guitar Tricks doesn't do that. Like if you buy a membership, you have light access to all the licensed songs uh, and whatever they add in the future. And they do a great job with this section. Like for, for learning cover tunes, it's just, it's fantastic. And you don't get, you know, you don't get the kind of like, the play-by-play -play that Rocksmith is is really known and liked for. You don't get that Guitar Hero video game kind of experience, but Guitar Tricks is particularly good at just teaching these songs with actual instructors and kind of breaking it down piece by piece and just going through every little element with you, demonstrating it, showing you how to play it, explaining it to you, uh, and that's just a really, really nice feature. The other thing that might be a little bit better with Rocksmith is they always kind of have that easy song rendition or just like the just chords version. Sometimes Guitar Tricks does that, but I think Rocksmith always has a mode where you can like break it down into easier, uh, almost kind of like Chordify, if you know what Chordify is. Uh, it's like just the chords. Um, but but in this in this comparison, I mean, Guitar Tricks is just better. They they don't make you pay extra for songs, and they just do a great job at that section. I mean, it's got tons of great stuff in there. Um, it, you know, it would take... I mean, it would take you forever to get through. They just, over this past year, added across the 1,000 song mark, which I think was a big, um, kind of a big uh, point for them to reach. And they just keep adding songs. I mean, they, they do it all the time. They go and get the license, and they uh, film it. You know, whoever, it, you know, they have instructors that are on there pretty regularly, and they just do a really good job. So that is uh, pretty much it. Um, the, the conclusion is at least in our mind, uh, is that Guitar Tricks is definitely a better program, definitely more complete, but at the same time, if you're looking for that, uh, like I said, kind of guitar hero experience where you're playing in and getting like that real-time feedback where, you know, did you miss a note or did you play it right or whatever, um, Rocksmith definitely has a lot of value. So that's how they compare. Hopefully you find it helpful. Like I said, there are links to both in the description, uh, video description below. And uh, if you get a chance, hit the like and subscribe button. That helps us out too. And we'll keep these coming. Hopefully.